Alan, how significant a result is that for your team? Oh, it's huge for us because um, we knew a lot of the teams were playing each other today, two away games for us. We needed to win one of them and uh, um, we did a great job today, encouraging the team to pass and play. And in the first uh, half, uh, we were a bit sloppy and uh, I had to throw a severe warning to them at half time. If you want to go back to long ball, we can, because if, if you're going to pass it, you got to pass it better than that. And second half, we were terrific. That 20 minutes until Glenn got sent off, we really were at the races, and, and that period won us the game. The severe warning clearly had a desired effect, didn't it? It was a ter terrific start, two goals in 12 minutes in the second half. Yeah, but I think, um, you know, we wasted opportunities, and uh, we got good technicians, and uh, everybody you know, wants to play football. You're a footballer, you, you don't really want to play uh, long ball stuff and kick and rush and stuff. You want to play. And I'm asking them to play the centre halves and the, to take possession. And, and, it, and that was as poor as we've been in that just before half time. Um, but we have done it well. We did it well against Arsenal and the so, start of the second half, very good. And uh, we'll stay on that course. Um, but we had to show another side to us, which we know this side had nothing to do with me. This is a resilient, real strong characters in that dressing room. And I had to see a difficult period. I should have taken Glenn off before I did. I tried to do it literally as he got sent off. Shola was ready to go. Um, but that last 16 minutes was a bloody long time. But they, dig, they dug deep, didn't they? And they, they yeah. you, like you say, you show bags of character. Yeah, and, and the goal, he makes saves, you know, and took some catches that were important. And he was important for us today. But we should, you know, it was, um, it was just a shame we got ourselves in that position because this was almost heading to a, to a comfortable away win. But, you know, Palace is never easy. Um, we're always going to do something stupid. The way you were set up, was that the perfect plan that came off today, you know, punching him in behind was, was terrific, wasn't he, pulling the strings? Yeah. Um, I, well, we knew Sam's got a couple of options. He plays the diamond, and the, which he'd started with, and then he went to the five, and um, we was well prepared. We, we had a good training week this week, we, and I was lucky enough to see him last week because they played on Sunday, and that helped. But um, I'm just thrilled for, for the club because it gives us a... Uh, real opportunity to stay in the division now. We really needed one of those 12 games to get a big away win and we've got it. And now we've got them concentrating on our home games. And if I'd said to you when you walked in the door beginning of January, 21 points available, you're going to take 13 of them, you would have taken that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. I mean, I'm mean, really pleased um, with uh, the reaction of the group to myself. And and um, we, go, we go to the next game and that's all you can look. Um, we haven't really reflected on what we've done, but another away win uh, always breeds confidence. And just finally, at the end, Super Alan Pardew bellowing out of the away end. Um, was that nice to hear? Well, it's always nice to hear, you know. Um, gets all sorts of chants sometimes when you're a Premier League manager. Um, but it was a good day for us, and um, um, we deserved it, I thought, today. I thought periods of the game, we really were disciplined and terrific on the break. But those of us who have dealt with you over the years, you just seem seamlessly at home at Crystal Palace at the moment? Well, everybody keeps saying that to me. Of course, I, I love being Premier League manager at Newcastle and, and the other clubs that I've been at, but, you know, um, it's been like a fresh start this year because we got ourselves pretty safe at Newcastle and, and um, I was uh, uh, just thinking that, you know, the challenge might be the right time for me and it, and it is kind of working out, but it hasn't worked out yet. Still got two or three big, big wins to, to get somewhere along the line.